Which precision bolt action rifle deserves your money more? These two guns from two mid-tier companies are nearly identical from the optic down to the chambering, and this three-part series is going to put them head to head and show you which one is best. Let's start it off with the Daniel Defense Delta 5 Pro. We're going to break it down into five key categories and give you everything you need to know in five minutes or less. When it comes to build quality, the Delta 5 Pro should be top notch. Out of the box, the only thing that bothers me is the bolt being a little wobbly, I guess is the best way to describe it, but that is the product of having a swappable bolt face. It makes cycling the action a little bit less smooth. Otherwise, everything else is top notch. The fit and finish is fantastic, although the folding mechanism is actually a bit too tight. I might be able to adjust that out. More on that in a minute. Four and a half out of five. I also want to hear how many of you have Vertex bags. They are legit my favorite for EDC or trips to the range or even storage in the battle wagon. They are well thought out and have the actual user in mind rather than shoving molly panels everywhere and a bunch of crap you don't need into the bags. And if you use our code TGC at Vertex.com, not only will you get a discount of at least 15%, but you'll also be supporting us and helping us bring the news to you every week. The code is TGC, and that's Vertex.com. For Ergos, this gun is bordering on perfect for a bolt gun. I like that the stock has a cheek piece that's not just adjustable vertically, but also laterally. That's cool. And the actual butt of the stock has vertical adjustment too. So you can adjust it out and then up and down. Then you have the thumb rest on the driver's side, which is adjustable. The only complaint came from Ben when he said he would prefer a more vertical grip. DD is using the same grip here as they do on their ARs, and a lot of precision guys prefer a more vertical grip. I'll give them a four and a half out of five here as well. For features, this gun is loaded. It comes with a 26 inch cold hammer forged donkey of a barrel and all the adjustments I mentioned before. However, the little black bag rider on the bottom of the stock, the full length pick rail on top, and the folding mechanism were sent to me to add to the gun by Daniel Defense aftermarket and would cost extra, so I'll sort of leave those out of the ruling here. The Area 419 brake comes standard on these, and it's honestly one of the best brakes I've seen on any bolt gun, so bonus points for that. Four out of five for features because I had to add the other stuff. When it comes to practical accuracy, aka how accurate we can be with the gun, we tested four different kinds of ammo with this one. With the factory brake installed, we saw some really impressive groups with honestly minimal effort. The 87 grain Hornady Varmint and the 100 grain Black Hills Factory Seconds shot about the same with only 0.02 separating them. The Federal 107 and Hornady 108s performed very well also with 0.5 and 0.8 inch groups respectively. We then installed the Aero Lahar 30L suppressor and the groups tightened up even more with 0.73 for the 87s, 0.71 for the 100s, followed by 0.37 and 0.39 for the Federal and Hornady match rounds. The other thing to note here is that we didn't really have to slow down our cadence to let the gun cool off a lot, and that's great for guys shooting matches. I should note that both guns in this series will be rocking the Bushnell Match Pro ED 5 to 30 by 56, and for 700 for the scope, I'm loving it so far. That thing has been awesome. And to be fair, this gun should shoot well when it tips the scales at 18.1 pounds as we have it set up in the video. All right, classic 100 yard TGC breakdown. Inch and a quarter, inch and a quarter. Coming in with a half inch on the Sierra Match Kings and then a three quarter inch group. This is all unsuppressed. Yep. And then just what a, happened? Just a break on it. These are. <clears throat> then we put the suppressor on it and. Uh, wow. <laughs> wow. Not only were we able to generally half the groups, half the, like shrink them by half, but uh, we saw two quarter inch groups and that is with a tape measure i i need to go through and i'll put this on screen for the final but yeah good god this is really impressive this is these are just outstanding groups great shooting by the way thank you, thank you. it was a good day today we didn't have any wind yeah no sun so five out of five for practical accuracy ah oh, the value section this is always challenging for me 
The MSRP on the Delta 5 Pro is $25.74. If you want it in the flat dark dookie like our gun, the MSRP is $28.08, an increase of $234 for a color change. Then you add the cost of the other parts to the gun, which is $420 MSRP on those, and we're over three grand for the rifle alone. The MDT bipod is incredible, but it's expensive too. All in this setup is valued at over four Gs. But this isn't about the value of the setup, it's about the rifle. And for the raw performance of the gun shooting as well as it did right out of the box, I'll give it a four out of five for the black version that we didn't have, and three and a half out of five because you have to pay more for the color that we got. Come on, come on. Like, it's 2024. Stop with that. That brings the total up to 21 and a half out of 25. That is a really solid rating. Stay tuned for part two and three of this head-to-head -head precision rifle matchup.